Okay, good morning. Good morning, everyone on Instagram as well. Great. So before we begin, let's all of us take just a few moments to breathe in, breathe out. Settle down, relax your body. If you need a water, this will be a good time to keep water next to you and find yourself a comfortable spot where you can breathe, where you can just be, you know, with your awareness, with your energy. Settle down, relax. My hope is that today's meditation takes you deeper into your mind, into your awareness. So emotionally, mentally, just be fully aware of your breathing. Be fully aware of all the energy within you and around you. And if during this meditation, you experience any sound, any distraction, anything at all, do not see it as a distraction, but use it as a way to go deeper. And I believe now the people you know, are officially joining in on uh, bo both the platforms. So good morning from West Coast. It's 7 a.m. here. I hope wherever you are, uh, you're having a nice evening, nice sunrise, uh, or just mid of the day. This meditation is focused on fear. I have spoken about fear in fragments. You know, I've spoken about it uh, in different topics, in different, you know, uh, context. But this meditation is specifically focused on fear because these are the times of fear, right? These are just very interesting times where the fear, the trauma, the anxiety, it's building up in such an interesting way. And I felt, why don't we meditate on fear completely? And why don't we go deeper into it through meditation, through tantra, through mantra? Now, it's going to be a bit of a talk before we get into meditation, but this talk is very important because you have to understand the root of the fear before meditating on it because it's possible. If you don't understand the root of it, you might just continue to expand the bubble of that fear and it gets even more complicated. Now, as we start this process of meditating on fear, and if you close your eyes and experience maybe one of the first times when you experienced fear, unfortunately, for most of you, that time is going to be the childhood time. When you were little, younger, it could be as young as five-year-old, you know, seven-year-old. Uh, and many of us will not remember the episodes of fear and trauma that we have gone through before we were five-year-old. And that has happened to so many of us. When you were too little to even make sense of, you know, life within you or around you, you started to experience fear in a very interesting way. And maybe you remember the episodes of fear after you crossed the age of 10 or 13 or so. But before that, the fear continues to, you know, pile up around us. From where does it start? So important because that's the only way, you know, you can actually go beyond it. For many people, the first seed of the fear is planted by the family because fear seems to be this, you know, interesting weapon, interesting tool that you can always use to teach a child on not to do something, not to follow a certain behavior. Because if you have to explain a child through love, it becomes complex. It becomes a longer and a difficult conversation to explain love, right? And many people, unfortunately, have not been trained through love. They have been trained through fear. So many parents unconsciously just, you know, use the same tactic on their children too. The fear becomes their most important weapon to teach. It becomes their foundation. And then it starts to go beyond the family. You know, what is around the family? Society, religion, school. And then all these elements start to teach you, you know, on the basis of fear. 
if you don't do this this will happen if you don't show up with your exams you will fail you know if you get bad grades or low grades you will fail and you will not have a job you'll have a terrible life the society starts to teach you certain lessons only based on the fear the religion starts to teach you that you got to pray you got to meditate if you don't do it all of these terrible things might happen not even might happen they'll say it will happen and these elements start to become our foundation and that's where the craziness starts because those are the most tender fragile fertile years of your blooming and if your foundation is built on fear it's going to create too many complications now for the sake of this talk you know we don't have all day so i'm going to stick to you know specific topics when your foundation is just based on the fear you know what starts to happen it creates two things number 1 it creates blind obedience number 2 it creates unconscious rebellion let's talk about the first one blind obedience you know where you simply obey with no awareness where you simply keep saying yes keep doing it you know it it has created you know many so called good people but is is there any good in them is there any loyalty in them nope it's all based on fear there are many relationships which look you know sweet and perfect on the surface especially on the social media but the foundation of that you know relationship is fair the foundation of you know your relationship with your divinity is based on fair for so many people and that's so unfortunate if you have the foundation as fair it will make you blindly obeying to everything the blind obedience has never created any good ever are you in a relationship because there's a fear of being lonely if you were not in one are you doing something simply because there is fear that if you don't do it something is you know something terrible might happen the things that you have been doing on the basis of fear where the root is fear it's going to cre- you know keep creating this interesting energy out of you and you know unfortunately that's the important spirituality that we have all become you know uh, so conditioned to and it's important because there's no life in it there's no blooming in it that obedience will never serve you it will never serve anyone and this is why i have often said that obediently and consciously uh sorry consciously disobey okay if you're obediently obeying you know like blindly obeying everything that's not going to help anyone a conscious disobedience is needed but for that you got to go into the roots and no one has taught us that no one will teach us that because the foundation is based on the fear the other aspect of the fear that we all have been seeing you know for years and years that's the aspect of unconscious rebellion it's unfortunate that when you heard the when you hear the word rebellion it invokes unconsciousness for many people right because many rebellions have happened based on that unconsciousness based on that unawareness it could be a little rebellion act in your house in your office or it could be as big as on a national political level but if it's based in unconsciousness it's going to create violent confusion destruction and it will not bring anything these are the unfortunate results of your you know uh, fear the blind obedience the unconscious rebellion it starts to destroy your root center it starts to destroy your expression many people experience you know trauma fear for little things because if there was fear planted in you at a younger age that fear is going to haunt you in everything you could have been you know maybe somebody stopped you from crying from laughing or from expressing your deepest you know or most honest expression guess what happens 
you could be, you know, an adult, you could be a 30, 40, 50 year old person, and you'll still be haunted by that fear. And it's very unconscious. You don't even know why you're not able to express yourself. You don't even know why you're not able to go deeper in your meditation, because the fear is there. This fear expands into fear of intimacy, fear of expressing yourself, fear of even going deeper in your journey, fear of going deeper in your spirituality. It's, it spreads out like a virus everywhere. It's so slow, so hidden, so subtle that we don't realize it for too long. Now, we can keep talking about the damages of the fear, but how do we fix it? How do we resolve it? In the Tantra traditions, all the deities, all the energy beings, all the teachings, they are based around strength. They are based around, you know, what we call Shakti. Shakti is generic name for the divine feminine in Tantra. But Shakti also means courage. Shakti also means strength. The reason why in Tantra courage or strength is given so much importance is because that's what we need to get out of that you know, unconscious cycle of the fear. Number two, if you are so strongly identified with your physical identity, with your physical entity, if you're so strongly conditioned to live life through mind, fear is going to be so natural for you. Fear might be your most fundamental, you know, expression because mind is always in the past or it's constantly projecting the future. Mind hates the unknown. Mind wants the known and the familiar. And if something, you know, in you is looking for the known and familiar, then it's basically limiting 99.9% .9 of your journey. It's limiting 99.9% .9 of your entire potential. And that's why, you know, in meditation, we keep talking about going beyond the mind, going beyond the past, going beyond the thoughts. You know, we become our thoughts and that's just terrible, right? We have only three to five thoughts maximum and they repeat so, you know, blindly, so unconsciously. And we start to think maybe there are, you know, 10,000 thoughts, but there are not 10,000 thoughts. There are only a bunch of thoughts, just three or five thoughts. They continue to repeat. And then you start to, you know, become uh, at the mercy of these thoughts. And as a result, the fear starts to happen and fear starts to call the shots in everything. Could be relationships, could be your personal journey, could be your spiritual journey. It will be present in everything. Okay, that's what needs to happen. In meditation, there are plenty of ways to get rid of that fear. You know, sometimes we do the loud chanting and I've been talking about loud chanting very often. When you chant your mantra loudly, not all the mantras, but specific mantras, when you chant them, they start to hammer the tight condition, conditioned knots in you, the knots of, you know, fear, the knots of suppression. Because the truth is you got to get out of your mind in order to experience a fearless life. You got to piss off certain important people in your life to get out of the fear. If you think that you will always uh, have to please someone, you will always need to please people, then the unfortunate truth is the fear will never leave you or the right ways you will never leave fear because deep down you want to keep pleasing. Deep down you want to, you know, you don't want to embrace your aloneness. Deep down you always want something or someone, you know, to be with you. The truth is you got to do the tough job. And one of the important ways is to repeat your mantra in a way that they hit your root center, that they hammer the root center. Breathing is one important way. And in this meditation, we are going to make use of this hammering of that unconscious knots, hammering of that suppression. And 
after the root will be going into the third eye, the Agya Chakra. The Agya Chakra means the chakra that gives instructions, that navigates your life, that navigates your consciousness. Pretty powerful stuff. And I really hope that this meditation helps you to understand the root of your fear. We are not here to fix anything. Don't even try to fix anything. You know, because your mind is the one who has created the monster. And if you start, you know, fixing it, it will start the defense. It will start, uh, you know, blocking that entire work. So instead of trying to fix or repair, start to witness the root of your fear. Because our biggest fear is with the fear itself. We are afraid of our fears. We are fearful of our fears. And it's only human being can manage such a complex, you know, journey. Because uh, in jungle world, in animals, all of these too complex, deep psychological mess doesn't happen. It's pretty straightforward, you know, there. Um, and it's fascinating. We are so corrupted, so conditioned, and we are so fearful of, you know, embracing our truth, embracing the unknown, that we continue to build this golden cage and we start calling it home. And then we never want to leave it. Then we never want to do anything to get out of that comfort zone. So please, you know, today, don't try to fix anything, don't try to repair anything, but instead allow yourself to be fully aware, to be fully present with the root of the fear. And we are simply going to witness how that root will unfold for you, how that root will guide you to take further actions because meditation without actions is irrelevant Actions without meditation are useless. So we got to have the combination of the meditation and the actions. And I hope you will take this meditation today to be super honest with yourself and reflect upon the fear. But more than that, the root of the fear. And this meditation will be saved. So feel free to go back to it and, and meditate again, okay? So let's begin. Wherever you are, stop watching and now start listening. You may close your eyes. Breathe in, breathe out at your pace. Just relax the body. Breathe, relax, relax the shoulders, relax your hands, relax your head. And we'll take this moment to invite the known and the unknown dimensions of the higher consciousness will take this moment to send gratitude, compassion to the known and unknown ancestors. They know the root of your fear. So offer them absolute acknowledgement and compassion in this moment and hold the space for this known and unknown energy building around you. Also take this moment to invite the little you, your childlike energy, when you were too young to understand life. It could be you when you were one day old or five year old or 10 year old, your youngest version that you can imagine. Just hold the space for your younger self, for your childlike self. 
because they are the ones who first experienced fear, who first experienced trauma. And don't worry at all, you're absolutely safe, absolutely protected and guided in this experience. Now gently start to be witness of the silence and the sounds around you. The silence within you, the silence around you. And any sounds that are coming and going, be a witness to those sounds as well. Breathe, relax, witness the silence, witness the sounds and gently start to become aware of your conscious awareness. Start to become aware of the conscious energy that you are. This conscious awareness is healing, evolving. It's absolutely fearless. It's not trapped by any conditioning. It's never unaware. But we lose the connection with this conscious awareness. And I will be taking this moment to come back to this awareness. Take this moment to be fully present with your awareness with this present moment. And when you feel ready, allow this awareness to be around your navel center. The navel center. is the center of your awareness. When you don't acknowledge the energy around the navel, then it cultivates suppression, anxiety, fear, confusion. 
But when you start to become aware, when you start to honor the energy around the navel and start taking care of it, then it brings fearlessness, then it brings strength, courage, and all that you need to bloom. We are going to start a conscious, loud chanting of a mantra focusing around your navel. If you can, we can chant the mantra loud. If you cannot, just repeat the mantra silently in your mind. This mantra is a frequency vibrational based mantra. The sound, the frequency of this mantra hits right at the spot around your navel. If you do it with absolute love, absolute courage, it will shift something in this moment for you. Keep your palms open. Keep your awareness around the navel. And gently, mindfully, repeat the mantra after me. Vam Rum Vam Rum Vam Rum Vam Rum Vam Room. Let go of the body. Let go of any calculation in this moment. And just stay absolutely receptive and effortless as you receive the vibration of the mantra. Vam Room. Vam Room 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 Feel the vibration around your navel, around your root centers. And don't forget to send this energy to, to the child in you who experienced the first episodes of fear and still carrying it. Vam Room. Vam Room Vam Room And now 
will allow the mantra to find a safe spot around your navel. Continue to breathe. Continue to relax. Stay gentle. Stay easy. And breathe. Be comfortable. And as we move into the next layer of this meditation, keep your body absolutely relaxed. Keep your body absolutely effortless. Keep the palms open and witness yourself as a stream of awareness, not as the gender you are, not as the roles you play for yourself or others, but just as this infinite awareness. gently, mindfully, take this awareness from the navel toward your third eye. Your third eye is your gateway to higher consciousness, to infinite courage. And it's one of the most important energy centers to go beyond your fears. We'll take this moment to relax the body completely. Keep the awareness around the third eye. And slowly, gently, allow yourself to go deeper through your third eye. As you're going deeper, let go of the body. And we'll plant the collective intention for all of us. Our collective intention is to move forward in life with trust and courage to move forward in life 
with trust and courage. Don't overthink the details of this intention. Just plant it with complete faith and complete trust. And have complete trust that you're going to be supported by the Devi Consciousness by the known and the unknown dimensions of the awareness of this universe in supporting this intention. Breathe, relax, go deeper, and allow this intention to be part of your awareness. Allow it to be a part of your infinite, evolving consciousness. There is no right, wrong, good, bad in the, in the consciousness. And now, to bring strength, to bring courage in the root of your awareness and to help you go beyond the fear. I'm going to begin a different mantra, but this time you just have to receive the mantra. Trust the vibration, the sound of the mantra to open you up. Trust that it will give strength to the younger you, to the child in you. And trust that this mantra, this awareness will help you witness the root of the fear and take you beyond the blind obedience and the unconscious rebellion that continues to come and go in you. Keep the palms open. Stay relaxed. Stay effortless. And I'll begin the mantra in a moment. Ha Sakala Hari. Ha Sakala Hari 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 Let go of all the control, all the heaviness and allow yourself to be fully guided, to be fully embraced 
by the known and the unknown layers of the universe by the known and the unknown layers of your consciousness ha sakala hari 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 and now gently we're going to let this mantra be fully planted in your heart in your third eye in your entire being ha sakala hari and now allow yourself to expand and evolve in your awareness there is no intention no mantra nothing at this point Just allow yourself to be receptive, to be effortless. witness the breathing witness the body relax in this moment allow yourself to remain a witness nothing to calculate nothing to analyze just breathing witnessing and allowing yourself to go beyond the fear to go beyond the suppression and when you feel ready bring the palms on your eyes
Don't push your eyes. Be gentle. And feel the warmth, the healing, the vibration from your hands going deeper in your awareness, going deeper in your energy. And we'll take this moment to honor the collective intention of moving forward in life with courage. And take this moment to send absolute unconditional acceptance, love and compassion to your younger self, to the child in you, to the times when you were one day old, one month old, one year old, to the times when you were too innocent and too pure to simply receive and absorb everything coming your way. Now you can touch your throat. Your throat is the center of your expression. It's also the midpoint between the physical and the non-physical energy in you. Allow the throat to receive the courage, the healing, the love from you. And you may touch your navel. Just breathe in. Breathe out. Again, breathe in. Breathe out. And allow the navel to fully receive and expand the awareness, the healing. Now, please take the next few moments to be with yourself, to be self-reflective on the root of your fear, the root of all that's holding you back and the root of everything you are holding back. And please continue to be in meditation for another few minutes, even after the video is over. Thank you.